Hey kids, today we are going to learn about comparing and ordering decimals. Our learning target is to be able to order and compare decimals to the thousands using comparison symbols. And our comparison symbols are these symbols here, and they represent less than, greater than, equal to. The hint that I would like to share with you is that if you think about a number line and you think about the numbers decreasing or getting smaller, you will see this symbol at the end to indicate a smaller number. That is the same symbol that represents less than. And as the numbers are increasing or getting greater, we see the symbol here at the end representing the numbers getting larger or greater than, which is this symbol. Let's practice comparing decimals. When we compare decimals, we need to take our decimals and we need to line them up in order to compare. 4 and 735 thousandths is being compared to 4 and 74 hundredths. So I had to line my decimals up and then I'm going to start in the largest place value, which is the ones place. In the ones place, the fours are the same, so I go to the next place value, which is the tenths place. In the tenths place, the sevens are the same in both of these decimals and that brings me to the hundredth place. This is where I will stop and focus my attention because the decimals are different. There's a three in the hundredth place and a four in the hundredth place. The four is larger than the three so this decimal four and seventy four hundredths is going to be the larger decimal. When I compare I will read this as 4 and 735 thousandths is less than 4 and 74 hundredths. So I will use my less than symbol. Even though this decimal on top had more digits, it still was a smaller decimal because I had to compare appropriately using my place value and lining them up. So you can't just look at the number of digits in a decimal and assume that that's going to be the larger decimal. That may not be the case. Let's look at example two. Six and seven hundred thousandths is being compared to six and seven tenths. Now I need to follow the same procedure where I'm going to line up my decimals. And when I line them up, I start in the greatest place value which is the ones place, and I see the sixes are the same, I go to the tenths place, the sevens are the same. Now when I look at my hundreds and thousands place in this top decimal, I notice that the bottom decimal does not have any digits for a value in the hundreds and thousands place. I can simply state that this is equivalent to the zeros that are in the hundreds and thousands place. I can even fill them in with zeros to show that. And so when I compare this decimal now, I see that they are the same. And I can say that six and seven hundred thousandths is equal to six and seven tenths. And we've shown that using our place value and lining up decimals. Now in our third example, I would like for you to pause the video line the decimals up and use the correct comparison symbol to determine the comparison of the two decimals. So you had to line up your decimals. You notice that in the ones place they're both zeros. You go to the tenths place they're both twos and then you stop here in the hundredth place and you notice that there is a three and a zero. The three is larger than the zero in the hundredth place. So then this would be the larger decimal, the one that's on top. 230 thousandths would be our largest decimal. So we would say that 230 thousandths is greater than 203 thousandths. And we would use our greater than symbol to represent that. Now let's continue practicing, but this time we are going to order decimals. We need to order decimals from the greatest to the least. And we're going to follow the same procedure that we did to compare them. So the first thing that we would need to do is take these decimals and we need to line them up. So that's the first step in comparing them. So I'm going to line up these decimals 
to make sure that I am able to compare them appropriately. It's better to line them up than to try to look at them without lining them up because this is easily confusing. So we need to line up all of our decimals and we have four decimal numbers here to compare. I'm going to follow the same procedure starting in the ones place and I notice right away that they're all zeros except for this one. So this is one. One is larger than zero. So this is going to be my first decimal number because I'm going from greatest to least. So this is going to be the greatest decimal here. So this is the one that I'm going to write down first. I'm going to put a number one by here, by this one here because this is going to be the my first decimal that I need to put because it's the larger decimal. Now, I'm going to continue and look at my other decimals and I am going to, let me cross this out, I'm going to start again, start over. Ones place the same, tens place. These They all have twos, so now I need to go to the hundredths place. Seven, five, two. So this is where I'm going to focus my attention because this is where I'm seeing the difference right in here. And so now I need to see which one is larger, 7, 5, or 2. The 7 in the hundredths place, 7 hundredths, is larger than the other two decimal numbers. So this is going to be my second decimal that I am going to place as I am ordering them. I'm going to place this here as I continue to order. I am going to start in the ones place. Looking at these, tenths place is the same. I'm looking here at the five and the two and the hundredths place because this is where the difference is. The five is larger, so I know that this is going to be my next decimal. So that's going to be number three. And so I'm going to put that in the right position, which would be here. And then, of course, it will leave me with this last decimal, 225 thousandths. It's going to be my smallest decimal, so I line that up in this manner. And so we have successfully ordered the decimals from greatest to least. And so this is the work that you are going to do for your turn. So let's look at the your turn. The your turn examples you need to do. You're going to compare decimals using comparison symbols and you're going to order decimals from greatest to least. Make sure that you remember to line them up as you're working on your your turn problems and use your place value information to help you. Remember to go on at Moto to let us know you watched the video, complete your WISC, and don't forget to turn in your assignment. We'll see you in class tomorrow.